Horizon is going to release like around the same time as Zelda Breath of the Wild, both open world RPGs, so does this matter? Here to discuss with me is of course Sex Sharps, hey man. Well hello there. Hey, 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 how you doing? I'm doing, I'm doing alright, there's some good games around the corner I can't wait to play, so you know. And uh, those good games are like Horizon Zero Dawn or... Uh... Uh, well, I, I'm personally gonna be playing an MMO soon alongside oh, yeah, Horizon, yeah. so... Yeah. I, I, I wanna see that, I wanna see that. Now, anyway, uh, of course, Horizon Zero Dawn is launching on February 28th on the PS4, and, like, on March 3rd, um, like, two days later than the European Horizon Zero Dawn release, because Horizon Zero Dawn will launch one week, uh, day later in Europe and the UK on March 1st, so... This, that Friday, two days later, Zelda Breath of the Wild and the Switch will launch as well. And of course, both are open world RPGs. And I already saw a lot of people discuss this a little bit. Like, does this matter? Is, is, is Horizon Zero Dawn going to be yeah, less successful? Because Zelda, obviously, one of the biggest gaming franchises, is also coming out with a highly anticipated game. On the other hand, of course, they are on a different platform. So. Do you think this matters? Uh, I mean, not really. Uh, when it really comes down to it, I mean, there's two different demographics at play here. Uh, I know Zelda fans are probably gonna get mad at me, but this is like straight up facts. And it's Zelda is a little bit more targeted towards younger people, uh, which is sort of what Nintendo just sort of does. You know, a lot of colors, not really a lot of violence in terms of like blood and gore and stuff like that. Less mature themes. Um, where with Horizon, it's a little bit more mature themes. It seems like it's going to be more sort of gritty, um, a little bit more brutal in a sense. And it might have a bit more of a mature storyline as well. Um, I haven't really dug too much into what their intended lore is, but I assume that's the case just by looking at it. So on the surface, it, just as an average consumer going into a store, there's obviously two demographics at play there. So I think that's going to do a good job of separating um, this up away from them contending from one another. Then if you look at the hardcore gamer, the people like myself who still would love to play Zelda, uh, and a lot of other older folks out there that love Zelda. Will they want to play Horizon as well? Probably, maybe, possibly, but when it really comes down to it, I think that those people are just going to automatically go to, to Zelda because it's something that they probably want to play more. Um, they may mm -hmm. already be Zelda fans and maybe not already you know be horizon fans because i mean horizon is a new ip it's kind of hard to be a fan of a new ip you could be hyped for one but you can't really be a fan of something that you haven't played yet um, and then with like zelda that's already established they're automatically just going to flock to that if they own a wii u or if they are going to buy a switch and if they buy a switch then their wallet's going to be drained and not going to buy horizon so it will affect a little bit i think in terms of sales though in the grand scheme of things in the grand picture we're not really going to see much of that there but mm -hmm. i i do see that there's probably gonna be more people buying horizon and buying zelda even over time um that are definitely going to possibly own or beat both over that period of time yeah yeah, yeah. I, I i think you're you're right about that uh like yeah like i also said like zelda is something huge and this game was announced like way way too early first of course as a wii u title and the game will launch on the wii u and the switch of course as well um so i think that for for example for people that just have a ps4 and are not really interested in the switch and i think a lot of people are and also yeah the switch they're planning to sell two million uh copies in the first um like month for the switch of course they're releasing on march 3rd so they had this whole month with probably two million switches so you might be interested in sell that but you probably maybe you can't find it because it's sold out everywhere so i think that will help and um i think what, what is interesting about this is maybe the mind share i mean what if the horizon reviews they will drop sooner than Zelda? obviously the game is coming out a little bit sooner but i think for Zelda the reviews are tricky i mean is nintendo going to send out wii u copies for the game because nobody has a switch or are they going to give uh, some selected press and YouTubers the Switch already and then also sell that to review the game? Or will they just send a, a Switch out on launch day with Zelda? So then you maybe not have reviews 
of Zelda at launch. So that that could also change. And what do you what do you think in terms of quality? Of course, this is also some sort of fanboy stuff going on. What game will be better? Both open world RPGs. One is looking obviously way more impressive because it's running on a way better hardware. Um, and of course, the setting is like super unique. While of course the Zelda setting is something we've already seen, but now in an open world. Uh, I played played Zelda already. Really liked it. Uh, can't wait to try out Horizon. But do do you think that um, maybe if people play Horizon then switch over to Zelda? Zelda might feel outdated because it's mostly made for a like a way older platform, the Wii U. Or do you think that it's like both will be great games and you can't really compare it? It's really hard because when it really comes down to it, Zelda for me at least, um, knowing that I played a handful of Zelda games, they even if I don't care too much about the storyline that the game presents, I care about the world and I care about completing the game because the mechanics are sound, they're there, they're fun, they're they're engaging and just enjoyable. Where hopping into like a game with her, like Horizon, I may not really have as much leeway in that regard. Where um, I hop into it, I see those beautiful graphics, but maybe the gameplay doesn't feel as solid, doesn't feel as enjoyable. Maybe it feels like another game that I've played before. Like maybe um, I personally haven't played it, but maybe I'll go in there and be like, oh, it kind of feels like the aiming and the like the whole archery of like a Tomb Raider <clears throat> game or whatever, and mixed with robots and stuff, and it just boils down to a generic platformer. Like who? I, I don't really know yet because I haven't really played it, so it's really hard for me to think in that re that respect. Previews um, have been very positive. Oh, previews have been very positive. That's though. true, uh, but Dragon Age Inquisition won Game of the Year back in what 2014, 2013, or whatever. <laughs> so um critics can only yeah. really do so much to excite me um it's okay, really it's really the the less mainstream reviewers that i always wait for because those tend to be the more hardcore gamer not just the hop to game to game to game gamer um and so it's it's one of those things where i look at horizon i see the potential but I know for a fact that Zelda is going to be great. And that's and I'm not even buying it. And I'm saying that I just know that because it's a Zelda game. It's going to be a good Zelda game just buying from everything I've seen because Nintendo treats their IPs fairly well. Um, and this it, it just looks like it's a, a good you know title that a lot of people are going to yeah, enjoy. Yeah, but going going like, from the platform to the platform. I see what you're going at there. If this was a realistic looking Zelda game, I could see that because it would look pretty bad probably because um, the power is not there to do something like that. But since it has sort of the more normal Zelda art style going for it, I don't see it really being an issue. I think most people are going to play it and have a fun time with it, see it for what it is probably in terms of the graphics, but uh, really look at it. And enjoy it because of its gameplay and what it actually is which is a, a zelda game an open world a vast open world from what we've seen and yeah. so yeah horizon's I think, I think beautiful but games... it's not a big i don't think it's a big deal mm -hmm. I, I, I would argue otherwise of course i haven't played it as well but with the reviews dropping as soon maybe if you watch this the reviews have already dropped um so it's super interesting that they're, they're very confident at sony that they will release the reviews like eight days before the release so um there is something going on there and with the good re uh, previews and all the stuff we've seen looks very promising but i think that what it all comes down to is that it will be two fantastic games and yep. that we as gamers are the winners here and of course you can't buy everything i totally understand that but i think for a lot of people that already have the ps4 they will choose horizon and people that want to buy the switch like you said um they will play Zelda as, uh, first because they bought this new system, want to play a game on it, and Zelda will be that game. I think the only thing that could really like uh, sh shake this out is the, or like that really impacts this, is the mindshare and that um, maybe the um, commercials that you see on the web where, of course, Nintendo is really going to push this new hardware and um, Horizon, Sony also wants to push that really hard. So. I think that internally they are like struggling with I want to have ad space here, I want to have a sponsored video for, for this game there while maybe they were doing a Switch sponsored video already or someone like that. 
it's like two huge commercial uh, games and two huge, huge investments coming out in the same week. So I think that they are going to battle a little bit, but we as gamers, I mean, it sucks if you're really looking forward to Horizon and Zelda as well. What are you going to play? I mean, both games are easily 30 hours, something like that. Personally, I will play Horizon hopefully before the release. So then I, when uh, Zelda comes out, I can jump on that. But um, yeah, I'm in a sort of unique position there. But yeah. you're, you're going to play uh, Horizon, right? You skip uh, Zelda because you will not buy the Switch yet. Yeah, I, I have it lined up on Gamefly. I've had it on there for a while now. Um, for my experience, that pretty much means <clears throat> I'll be getting it. Um, I, I don't really think that I won't get it. I've never had an issue with like new, re new really released titles on Gamefly. So that's what I'll be doing with it. I'm not going to drop the full 60 on it because I don't know if I'm just going to randomly drop it and come back to it in however long. Like I, I just don't. It's, it's really hard for me to drop that 60 anymore without knowing what I'm getting into. Now, if the game is really good, then of course I'll give them more money and everything like that. But um, I, it's just, mm. it's a new IP. I struggle with new IPs, and I think a lot of people do as well, which is why as, as exciting as this game is, I think that people who are traditionally Zelda fans that like what they see with Horizon are just going to default to Zelda for the time being and then you know wait until yeah. they have the funds in order to get Horizon. But I think that's still a small amount of people compared to, um, you know, some other comparisons we can make like during November um, of last year with all the shooters that released and the causation of Titanfall 2 struggling, even though it was a really great game um, commercially and critically, I mean, not commercially, but critically. Um, and then also Dishonored because there was such a high frequency of big behemoths there just <clears throat> got crumbled because it wasn't as big, it didn't hold as much weight. And so if this was any other open world RPG going against Horizon, I think that we could talk about this, but Nintendo fans have proven to be somewhat predictable in the sense that they're gonna stick with their camp and yeah, Sony yeah. fans tend to stick with their camp and Sony has a large enough install base and they've marketed this game long enough where people know that it's out there and they knew around what was it like a month or two ago we knew the exact release date or three months ago I think for uh, Zelda? No, for Horizon. For Horizon. Oh, for Horizon. No, no, no. This, this was uh, like announced um, at E3. They delayed it to February. Oh, okay. I thought I thought they delayed it again or something like that. So we so we've known for a while now when it was gonna release and. Yeah. Of course, and then we heard Zelda later after that point, and so, yeah, I, I don't see a big issue here. It, it, like I said, if it was a higher frequency of these games releasing, it wasn't just two from two very distinct brands um, with two very distinct flavors here, I think that there would be an issue with them both being an open RPG, but because they're so distinct in other ways, I just don't see it being a problem. Yeah. I, I think you're right, um, and yeah, like I said, we, we will win, like uh, yep, the gamers definitely. will win, because I think both games look very promising, and both will be great. One is on a new platform, and of course on an older one that you can't even buy anymore, and the other one is on the most successful piece of hardware on the market right now, so I think both games will do fine. Um, yeah, I mean, personally, I'm more leaning towards Horizon because it's a new IP, really like the stuff they have going on with the setting, and still I know what I can expect from that, but I still can't wait to play it. Anyway, thanks a lot Zach uh, for discussing this topic with me, we of course have way more gaming discussions up on the channel, let us know what you think, does this matter the release of Zelda and Horizon close to each other, let us know in the comments down below. Subscribe for way more gaming discussions, like the video if you did, and I will speak to you next time, goodbye. goodbye.